Hi everyone, uh, this is Pietro, the CEO of Magic Path, and today I'm going to show you how to use our new Chrome extension. So I'm pretty excited about this because as a designer or as somebody that works in product, like if you're a PM, if you're an engineer, most of the time, a lot of the, your real, real up-to-date code actually lives in production, right? Um, the Figma file might not be truly representing what's in production, what sometimes we even what's actually in, the, in your actual code library because it might be updated or there must be a change also doesn't doesn't really represent what's in production and so today we're introducing a way for you to basically design prototype build and vibe code essentially from the web and we're very excited about this because as you know we launched library uh a few a few weeks ago and so this all combined, now you will basically be able to extract any component you want from the web and convert it into your own library, which is very exciting. So this can be for uh, working on things that you're working on from your company, or if you want inspiration from other websites, basically remixing the web, which is really cool. So I'm gonna show you how to use the extension. So first of all, my recommendation would be to pin your extension so it's always here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the uh, Google AI Studio and I'm going to select this element. And let's say I want to select this whole element. So you can see I select and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go into Magic Path and anywhere on the canvas, I can just press uh, Command V, basically just paste. And as you can see, the uh, element is being created right away. But now, what if I also knew what kind of changes I wanted to bring into that component? Well, I can do that too. If I have a chat open, I can actually just like put that in. Let's say instead of having the card stack horizontally as we saw here, what if you want to have this as a carousel? So I'm going to say make this into a carousel. And so basically taking that uh, context and already changing it on the fly, which is magical right i think like this is the beauty of ai and you can see you know we're basically we're basically done uh we are first component it took what like 30 seconds uh and what you're gonna see is basically like a like pixel perfect extraction of that component that will work as a reusable react component <laughs> check this out how cool is that and then of course you know things are like you know so responsive of course now now there's a bunch of things we could do right i could go here and i could just like you know ask the ai to make some changes whatever i want but we also ship as you guys know the best editor for the vibe coding era so i can actually just go here and say like oh actually you know i wonder what it would look like with a larger font or i wonder what those section would look with a gradient and what's cool because those sections are uh, the same section, you, you only have to do a change once, right? So now you don't have to guess yourself how that thing will look because you know you can just make it. So here I'm gonna rotate the gradient over here and I'm going to just put like a gentle gradient, right? And what if I also want like a bit of shadows on this? So I'm just gonna do that. So I'm gonna add a little shadow here. And then I'm gonna actually gonna just have one. And I wanna reduce this, the, the shadow spread because it's like a little too big. And also the opacity a little bit. Uh, so that it's like a little cleaner. Um, and then, yeah, there we go. So now I can just save that. And basically what happened here is that we it's imported something pixel perfect and then we edited it the way we want it. How cool, right? The other thing too now, it's like this is code that I can use. I can open it to cursor via npm commands, or I can also um, just basically, you know, copy this code, put it to my database. So here, look how amazing it is. We passed it, and then we say, you know, just basically, um, you know, turn into a carousel. But it's amazing because, you know, we only had to take that component once, and then we just did that. So this, of course, works for basically every website you get perfect pixel export. One thing I would recommend, once you extract element, like, you know, there's some limitation, of course. So like, for example, this is a great example with Twitter. I could just go and basically just like, extract each single element here. Like if I want like the post section, or if I want like the 
sidebar or maybe if I want like one of those cards and whatever, right? For example, let's just say like, you know, we're trying to select a really big element, right? So what's gonna happen here is actually gonna tell us, hey, look, uh, this is a little too big to export, right? From my usage, this has never been an issue because, you know, if you think about in terms of like componentize your design, basically what you will do, you say, oh, actually, you know, I want the post, right? And then you can copy that. And of course, the other awesome thing, once you have your uh, library here, sorry, your component, you can just add that to any library. And so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna call this AI Studio uh, plugin, right? So I'm gonna do that. And then once I do that, the AI Studio plugin is here and I can just like drag that component. And if you look at the code, it's basically just like, code that you can just reuse and of course now I can do all the cool stuff that we have at Magic Path like build a home page using this right the promo gallery that we just created so really excited I think this is awesome you can also combine multiple uh, copies uh, so you can say like oh make this in the style of this which is really really cool I cannot wait to see what you all make and I think this is gonna change the web. So use Magipath and remix the web. Thank you, everyone.